It was supposed to be a chestnut leaf. Hi, everyone. Please excuse me. I'm not able to wave at you all with my left hand. I had a medical emergency. I had an EF5 stroke while I was at work on April 12th. Whew. They had to immediately go in through my groin with surgery to get the blood clot that was in my carotid artery. So I'm back with you all. I was able to take advantage of the Dunienberg sale. Um, I believe this was from Dooney.com. And I'm giving God all the praise that I'm still here because I could have died. But I'm here and I'm thanking him all the time that I'm still here. So please excuse me fumbling with the box. So here's the tag and this is number one out of 24. I got the first one y'all. This is awesome. It's beautiful and smooth all over. I am have no complaints about this bag. So please excuse my fumbling. So here's the bag. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a beautiful bag. If you can look at the bottom, there are pleats on the front. This is a stock photo of the Navy Pouche. And I just showed you the live version so here's my mom doing an unboxing for me because I can't I only have one hand so you're gonna look at my mom's beautiful hands she unboxes for me during the sale I also got the nylon weekender in the color navy and the inside of the weekender my weekender is red and on the site, I believe it says it's, it, it looks yellow, but mine is red or it looks beige. So don't mind my mom cutting open the box with her beautiful hands. Love to see her. She's been so wonderful. She's been here every day with me as I'm still in my hospital bed at my house. I'm on home confinement for right now, but hopefully I can... As I heal, I can move more freely. So this is a close-up view of the Navy Pouche. And there's the chestnut. It finally arrived a week later. I was happy to have them both in my hospital bed so that I can look at them and smell them and pet them when I wanted to. And here's the inside grommet. It says Dooney and Burke. The little details on this bag are fabulous. This is the bottom of the bag. It doesn't have feet, but I'm not worried about it. And this is the side of the bag. It's got a nice little depth to it. And it's got pleating on the top and the bottom, the front and the back of the bag at the bottom, which gives a little more space on the inside of the bag. And I'm just showing you a few of the details of the bag. This is showing you how beautiful and supple that Florentine leather is that they were able to pleat and fold. Look at how beautiful that leather is. It's smooth. There's not a pebble to be seen on this bag. And here's the tag for it. And that's the little handle. You can see the beautiful contrast stitching. This is the inside of the bag. It's collared in that green suede all around. It's got the standard Dooney setup. And here's the nylon navy weekender that I ordered that was on sale. That's the inside of it. It's got the standard Dooney setup of a zip. And slip on the back wall and then it's got two slips on the front it's got six feet this is a huge bag and it's got that nylon strap that's adjustable I can't wait to that I'm healed enough to travel with this thing oh I can't wait I always wanted a weekender so when I saw this come on sale in the 
nylon, which is going to be light and easy to carry because I'm going to stuff it to the, to the brim. So I'm happy about that. I was able to catch that sale. If you all don't have a weekender, I would like to recommend this nylon.